Hey yo, what's up? It's Nathan Reed, and today I'm going to be just going over Velocity and DaVinci Resolve for, like, video game montages and stuff. Uh, a couple of you guys were asking about this. I know Ray's was asking about it in the comments, so shout out Ray's. And, um, yeah, that hopefully I, you guys can get some insight onto my DaVinci Resolve workflow for Valorant montages. So these are a couple of shots that are, like, already done. <laughs> And that's just that's just the velocity basically and motion blur um, so basically what you do is after you've kind of chopped it up to the way you want it to sync with the music like you can see this shot isn't that's that's just at normal speed right now so basically you want to go into fusion and then you want to add the time stretcher and then basically what you do is you press this little button to make the left side of the playback screen um, your input uh, your input source this knob right here controls the um, controls the output frame from the time remap so what you want to do is you want to scroll on this until it roughly matches with the first frame that you chopped up for the in input uh, source and it looks like it's right about there so right there and don't you don't want to make this a decimal so I always delete that and make it like at a normal frame um, and you go to the end of the clip and that's where that that doesn't really matter as much so you can take that off and you go to the end of the clip and then you scroll until it's basically at the end of where you want the um, that little slow-mo section of the shot to be for this part I want it to be like just me peeking out so I want it to end about right there and again delete the decimal so it's just at a single frame um, and then basically you want to open the graph editor which is this button up here and check this and then click the click this button and it'll automatically kind of zoom to whatever keyframes you have um, and then basically the to understand this, you have to understand this graph for the time remap. Basically, the y-axis is your um, your output frame, and the x ax or no, sorry, the y-axis is your input frame, and the x-axis is your output frame. So what that means is that if you have a steep slope, like like here, it'll be faster. And I don't know if it's actually gonna. Like you can kind of see that part at the beginning is faster. If you make it a shallow, shallower slope, then it'll be slower. And you can see that part not slower. Typically, when you're making like this velocity, you want to click on the first keyframe and drag this up a little bit to make it like speed up in the beginning. And click this one and drag it down so it also speeds up at the end. You can see that steeper slope at the end. And you want to grab the one in the middle and drag it like that so it's kind of flat and that makes it slow-mo in the middle and you can kind of just adjust it to your liking I think that looks pretty good so once you have that kind of down then what you want to do is um, you want to add an optical flow node right before the time stretcher and then then you want to go into time stretcher and change this to flow and the best settings for this are make sure to check clamp edges this has to be fastest on top and then just check all of these and basically that'll add optical flow it just makes it smooth and not like it, it takes away the frame blending for the slow-mo parts um, and then what you want to do, I just to add motion blur to the end, um, you just do an optical flow, and then uh, vector motion blur nodes, just one after the other, and that's all you have to do. Oh, uh, one more thing. To make sure that the last frame has motion blur, because it the the vectors track from the frame that's on to the next frame after it. So what you have to do for the last frame is add another control point to the time remap and drag it 
like up so that'll add motion they'll kind of like add motion to the vector on the last frame and uh make sure that has motion blur um so yeah so yeah now that that's pre-rendered um i can see it that looks pretty good you can see that motion blur and it's like slow-mo in the middle um, so yeah, that's basically how you do velocity, and then just do that for like every single clip, and you're chilling. Um, also, if you guys want to see more tutorials in the future for like other stuff, like different edits and like effects, um, let me know, and uh, I can do some of those. So yeah, thank you for watching. Yeah, peace.